टाइम इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर जी एन एस एस पोजिशनिंग जस्ट इमेजिन द सिग्नल फ्रॉम द सेटेलाइट आर ट्रेवलिंग एट अ स्पीड ऑफ लाइट दैट इज अबाउट थ्री हंड्रेड थाउजेंड किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड एटी सिक्स थाउजेंड माइल्स पर सेकेंड एंड दे आर कमिंग इन टू अवर रिसीवर एट अ प्रेसाइज टाइम एंड इफ दिस टाइम इज डिलेड बाई इवन वन सेकेंड वी कैन बी हाफ वे टू द मून सो हाउ प्रेसाइज आवर टाइम इज गोइंग टू बी If I take one millisecond or one thousandth part of a second, then our position can be out by three hundred kilometer, or about hundred and eighty-six miles. Just imagine one microsecond, one thousandth of a second error in timing can have my position out by this much of meters or kilometers. Let's go more deep. If I go and do a microsecond, one millionth part of a second. If our GNSS positioning have a one microsecond of error, then our position can be out by at least thirty meters, which is not acceptable in modern day surveying. So we have an atomic clock in all the satellites that are giving us position, be it GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Beidou, or IRNSS for that matter. So what is an atomic clock? Atomic clock is the cesium atom one thirty two kept in a specific chamber. and it vibrates over 9 billion times every second and we know that vibration precisely and we can calculate time that precisely einstein's theory of general relativity says that the clock will run faster if they are not into the influence of any gravity so the satellites are in microgravity so the atomic clocks on the satellites they are actually running faster than the atomic clocks kept here on the earth how much faster you ask it is running about 45 microsecond every day in every 24 hours the atomic clocks on the satellites they run 45 microseconds faster as per einstein's theory of special relativity when an object is moving at a fast speed it loses time time compresses for him every day every 24 hours the satellites are losing about 7 microsecond and if we calculate both of them on an average the satellites are gaining about 38 microsecond every day and we need to adjust those timings every day into each and every satellites so stay curious and always ask question